coming up this week on Stage to the Cage. I'm excited to see if I actually have the bollocks to do it. I'd rather die than lose. Is that a weird thing to say? Like, I would rather die than lose. Because if I'm honest, I'm terrified. I used to watch his stuff and think he's fucking funny. <laughs> now I've got a punch him. He'll learn more things about himself than he has in the last 35 years, do you know what I mean? What? Most men want to fight, but do they really want to fight? My name is Brian Lacey. I am a presenter and commentator for Octagon MMA. We are the biggest mixed martial arts promotion in Europe, and as we step into the UK for the first time, we present a groundbreaking project, a project which puts together two people you would never expect to see inside the cage. One of the best comedians the UK has ever produced in Paul Smith, taking on one of the biggest UK reality TV stars, Jake Quickenden. Paul's rise to fame has been meteoric. From a viral sensation on social media to a household name with a record-breaking live tour. Jake Quickenden's popularity and personality have seen him become a staple on UK TV. Unlike most reality TV stars, it's Jake's longevity in the world of celebrity that sets him apart from the rest. But now both these stars are getting ready to step from their world into ours. This is not your typical celebrity fight. This will be under professional rules, full unified MMA rules. So, no head guards, no shin pads, no big gloves. Head kicks, elbows, and all submissions are legal. This Fly on the Wall series will take you with them on their journey through 10 months of intense physical training as they prepare for their professional debuts whilst also juggling their already crazy lives. They may lead celebrity lifestyles, but the life of a fighter can be far from glamorous. That's bad, yeah, That's belt to that. Bed there, bed there. Sick, innit? Yeah. Who needs a belt, yeah? Fuck Bentley. Here we are, Blackledge MMA. It doesn't look like much from the outside, <laughs> but it's a, it's a palace of violence. A palace yeah. <laughs> Once you start wearing gym leggings, I don't think you can go back to normal pants and be happy with your life. Ooh, it's cold. So listen, this is gonna be a big choice, mate. This decides which one you're going for. One's going to you, one's going to your pale. opponent, yeah? I'm pale, mate. I think I'm on a white, You're on white? I'd normally go black, but I just feel like the white cold. Good versus evil, there yeah. you go. Handsome man. Elbow. I think with training Paul, he knows exactly what he's getting into. He's impressed me all over just with his training, with his whole attitude. And obviously he's got like a great personality, he's a great character. And he just fits in perfectly with everybody. And that's it really, he's just done fantastic in getting in the gym and, and being part of the team. Get rid of him, tell us. He likes that elbow. Right, pull it back on. See that your elbow's coming up. Yeah, yeah. Push. 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 Good. Just keep that. Watch. Watch me going like this. Yeah. Let it just sit. And sit into you. Does my chest matter? No, it's because you've got lats. <laughs> you got lats. Because <laughs> i got my foot. Lats. Hold on a minute. That's better. See your elbows just lifted yeah, now. Yeah. There you go. Well again. Hush. Hush. That's better. When when you throw it like straight through, yeah. The power's the power's there all day long. You're letting it fall when your elbow's going up, you're going past me. So I'll come on. Yeah. yeah. If your elbow's lifting this side and you're taking it that side. So because you took that in. That's it. That's it. Like that. Ah, sorry. No, it's okay. No, yeah, okay. So let's see the slide back in a little bit. Turn through with it. That's better. Better again. Turn through. Good. Turn through. That's better. Big difference when you start hitting like that. If you look at Paul, he's putting himself in in a scary situation. Fighting is not easy, and fighting on a show is big. 
and as, as well known as Octagon, is even more, it's even more difficult, more eyes on you. And, you know, it's super impressive to be able to go into it like he is doing and embrace all that journey for, for a year of, of putting yourself into it. I feel my fitness getting better. I'm making slight improvements. I'm excited to see if I actually have the bollocks to do it, which is a weird thing because I will do it. But how I feel kind of walking up, because um, if I'm honest, I'm terrified. Like I am genuine, and it's a year off and I'm scared. Because um, it's getting locked in a cage with someone and they're going to try and punch your head in. They're going to they're gonna try and hurt you as much as they can. Finish your jab first. So finish, so the minute you go in. It's happening out, yeah. Yeah, so turn that jab over first. Now drop, now come back. There we go. Again. Good. Step with it. So you just go in, so now yeah. you've just started too wide and yeah, you feel yeah, like you yeah. can't step. Go again. Just step that left, go again. Push, yeah, my bad. So is it? No, no, it's my, my fault. <laughs> <laughs> well, didn't want to say that until yeah. like, you're fucking this up here, Tom. Push, push, push. Back and left hook, let's go again. Back and left hook or left on my hand? Uh, left it back and then. <laughs> You're doing my head, didn't you? Jab, dog. Yes. And then left back on left back on. No, that's what are you talking about? It was back on left on. No way. Check this video here. <laughs> Check this video here. <laughs> it was jab. Yeah. Dip. Yeah. Back on left up. Left up back on body shot, weren't it? Yeah, left up back on body shot. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, you are on the second bit, but on the first bit, you're not. Nah, you've added a bit in I there. am not. <laughs> You know, he just doesn't want to say it because you're bigger than me. Fuck off, Tom. <laughs> you've got to put the work in on your cards. I can't cut corners. and Because if there's anywhere that I could slack, I probably would. I'm quite a lazy person by nature, so I have to find things that really push me out of that comfort zone so I actually achieve anything with my life. Um, so I think that's the thing I'm most excited about. It's just the, the, it's the training, it's the challenge of it, more than the actual fight. So we go, jab, dip, backhand, left up. Have a sec. Left up, backhand, oh, left yeah. up. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> See, then that's why I'm the coach. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. He's right. Feel it. Feel like a knobhead, do I think you would just have the seven minutes of extra rest there. <laughs> Little tip when you're in a gym, you're doing a pads. If you're under there, just question the coach a little bit. Make him, make him, make him worry about his own sanity. Just sneak a little rest in. Feel fresh now. Can you put this in slam? <laughs> oh, you bastard! Fucking cost me 30 quid this. Is this gonna be super tight? I hope so. Yes, look at that. Fucking hell. Now I just gotta make sure I can fight. What was doing? It's a lot to learn, but I kind of enjoy the challenge of it all. Enjoy the competition. Like I love I'm I'm so competitive. I've played like high level sport football wise. And that's where I get my, like even, you want to see, I've had some full blown fist fights with my brother over FIFA. Because if I lose, I'm so fucking shit. But I've always been like that and I think that's what drives me. I think a lot of people will look at me and go, he's probably a bit of a pussy. I'm shivering because I had an ice bath this morning and I'm still cold. Um, and I think people will probably look and think he's probably not got much about him, but I like to think I have. I'd rather die than lose. Is that a weird thing to say? Like, I would rather die than lose. I hate things. And that's because I grew up with my, three bro my two brothers, me and my dad. My dad was just as competitive. And he just said, like, if you're going to do something, do it well and do it properly and train. If I lose, but I've trained and I've given my all in the ring and I've been beaten by a better man, then I'm always happy with myself because I'm like, I couldn't have done anything else. 
it's that point where you go out there and you don't believe it all on the table and you lose and you go, fucking hell, I could have done more then. And that's why I like SAS who dares wins. I get rushed to hospital with a shoulder where I needed surgery and stuff just because I don't want to quit. I'd rather get hurt, so. sent me a message, he said, listen, um, I'm in for something and I'm going to need your help. He come down, we had a little chat, uh, he told me about what was going on. Like I said, I wasn't really sure of what was happening. I didn't know if it was meant to be like a, a celebrity match or if it was a proper event. And then he told me it was Octagon and I was like, okay. Like that's, in my opinion, Octagon's been a, a big show for a long time. Should we take that? Yeah, go on. Don't video this, it makes me look like a right dickhead. It does, mate, look. Fuck sake. It. It's only because I had me ears pierced and I had to do it. Thing is, if you look good, you perform good. That's what I think. Absolutely. That's why Oz has had a new trim today because he knew he was being filmed. Yeah, 50, 50, 50 quid. Lesson, 50 quid. <laughs> They're not real gold, you'll get a fuck off for them. <laughs> Most men want to fight, but do they really want to fight? Do you know what I mean? They'll say they want to fight, but then put in the, tra the training. Like I said, like six weeks of training doesn't really give you enough of an insight. Like six weeks of training, we could just have a fucking doddle. Like, that's not enough for me. 10 months, he's gonna, he'll learn more things about himself than he has in the last 35 years, do you know what I mean? He will learn a lot about himself. In my opinion, he's ready in a few months, you know? Another 10 months of training, like the way he is, he'll be flying. He's in my camps now, he's coming over with me to train. Like, that's, that's a guy that's taking it serious, you know? That's a guy that wants to win. Um, and I respect that, I respect that more than anything. <laughs> Thing is, as well, with Paul, I like him. I like his comedy and that, I think he's a funny guy. I used to watch his stuff and think he's fucking funny. <laughs> Now I've got to punch him. <laughs> Call Brian Lacey. Calling Brian Lacey, mobile. You're headed, are you in town now? Oh, where, where are we heading to? Where do you need us to be? <coughs> Every time I come in, it's not. Um, he's getting his head smashed then. Who? Jake Griffin then. His career is different level, like he's doing a tour the size of like household name comedians like Jason Manford and Paul's doing that and he's done it all on his own and I fucking love it. I mean, I'll be there, do you know what I mean? And hopefully I'll get to MC his funeral. <laughs> I don't even know if I want to be there really. I feel like there's a part of me that wants to see it, but it's my mate. What if he gets kicked in the head? I'll be donating all my purse to Weapons Down Gloves Up, which is a, a charity based in Liverpool, uh, which helps, it's, it's aiming to help kids get out of like kind of gun knife crime. It's a phenomenal cause. Um, I know a lot of the people who are in combat sports in Liverpool are a big supporter of this charity as well. I've seen, you know, Molly McCann and Tony Bell, you and people supporting this charity. So uh, I think it's a very worthwhile one. You know, no one wants people on the streets of Liverpool, especially young kids and stuff with weapons. And it's a charity I fully support the sentiments of and I can absolutely understand why that is charity of choice for it. Lights start to come on now, you can just see me looking, good looking at the top, massive teeth, grinning, maybe paint though so they're like luminous. And then this is the bounce, do you know? It's all right. Bouncing around. Crowd's like, fucking hell, this guy looks mean. Lights up. What? I got goosebumps even thinking about that. Look, look at my hairs. Look at the hair standing up. It's just like the light, everything off, boom. Beats, drum comes in and then I walk, I'm like, fucking come on. He comes in here and doesn't bat an eyelid, you know, he's just one of the lads. He, he digs deep, he, um, he goes hard, so that's, that's what you want, you know, you don't want someone to come in, oh, I'll be hurt today, I can't, I can't really train much. He just, he gets down, he gets down to business, gets dirty and just gets it done, so it's great. so <laughs> quick. Jake, jump over, jump over that shoulder hard. Over your shoulder, that's the time now. Come on, hand fight, keep that slow. 
Don't let go, don't. Don't let them put the guard in. Keep that side. Hand fly like fuck. Hand fly. Don't let it get close. But stay yours. Don't let yours. Go left. Go left. Go away from the hip. That's it. Stay there. Drive your shoulder to him now. Drive your shoulder to him. Stay left. Keep going left. Go to his left shoulder. Keep going. Stay on top. Don't get rolled. Stay heavy. Don't let him have to push into him. Good. He's going to try and mount him. Do not let him mount him. Keep passing the guard. Keep passing the guard. Don't let him get the guard. Don't let him get the guard. Oh, you're right. Hey. Ah! Jump over that left side straight away. I know, man. Fucking you can't really settle. Yeah, that's what it is. If it's settled, it's not going to work. Yeah. You're going the right way and then you stop. Pretty sure that gives you the pants quickly. Yeah, absolutely. What are you thinking? It's getting pissed off. It's getting pissed off. But don't get wrong. So you're here. He's got the neck, you're panicking. Left shoulder like a pencil roll to me. Aye, we're out. Yeah. Go back. Put the arm in. Win the arm in. No, no, no. Hug the body. Do the same roll. Pull him over your body. Get on top. Look at that. Frame on his head then. Yeah. And lift. Because he can't, you'll separate his arm on his head. But why, why didn't I know that five minutes ago when he choked me? I know. Oh, no, Fuck. Sorry. That's yeah. the game. Yeah. That's, That's the game. game. So you, you learn now. It's the competitiveness in him that. I like, he wants to win. Like, he's getting subbed by guys here. That's, he's meant to. If he was subbing them guys, he'd be coaching it. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Like, he's getting subbed, he's annoyed by that. And I like that, but he's not annoyed where he's being disrespectful, you know? He's not slapping the mats and getting pissed off. He's like, ah, oh, fuck, back in again. Like, you saw him there at the end, he's bollocks. Let's go again, another round. And I like that, that that want to get in there, that want to fight. It'd be great to get a highlight real finish. He can kick very well, he can strike very well. I want him on top of someone, elbow through the head. That's what we're looking for. You got, you got the gas tank. How are you feeling? How am I feeling? Have you seen me? Have you seen the state of me? Fucking having a cardiac arrest here. <laughs> Fucking hell. There's so much in it. I remember I used to watch like MMA and think, why are they rolling around like dickheads? And now, it's a fucking art form, man. Oh, it's amazing though, I love it. Good. Good uh, we are at the, in the green room of Hot Water Comedy in Liverpool. My regular haunt, my home, away from home. We're doing four shows tonight, so just a light one. It's going to be interesting to see how I am by this last show because um, obviously I've got to get used to training and being on the road and then doing gigs, so let's see. Three days. It's fucking heavy. I come out like that's a fucking banger that you're a what? <laughs> I don't know what reaction she was expecting from me, but she was doing like. Ain't that happy with herself? Why the fuck is there a big box of dicks in my house? And she was like, why are you fuming? And I was like, how would you feel if I teamed up with yours with a big box of fannies? <laughs> Next time on stage to the cage. We're doing it. You can't you can't have anything but respect for the fact we're fucking here. Straight away fucking one right in the tender. Oh my and the kid as well. Like as someone who's suffered with depression and anxiety and things in the past, I think this is the best thing you can do for yourself. I've been through like the loss of my dad and my brother, and for me like nothing can be worse than that. I don't know who he's facing, but that guy's in trouble. I feel a black eye coming up.